welcome to today's Reflection for Holy Week. Today we're drawn to a scene that is domestic, warm and intimate, yet also challenging and disturbing. It questions our values and our sense of appreciation and may remind us of the words of Jesus, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Let's go to the house in Bethany that we read about in John chapter 12. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here a dinner was given in Jesus' honour. Martha served while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about half a litre of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of the disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large crowd of Jews found out that Jesus was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests made plans to kill Lazarus as well. For on account of him, many of the Jews were going over to Jesus and believing in him. So it's dinner time in Bethany. And Jesus is there as a guest of honour. And with him, his disciples, including Judas Iscariot. There's a sense of reunion. As Jesus meets in the home with Lazarus, Martha and Mary. A sense of deep gratitude. For one of that number may not have been there. Lazarus had just been raised from the dead by Jesus. And we read of that in the previous chapter. And so imagine the sense of gratitude to Jesus, the sense of joy of the occasion. And so Martha is there serving. And so it's bound to be a good dinner as she expresses her thanks to Jesus. But Mary, her sister, springs a surprise. And she takes about half a litre of pure nard that expensive perfume, and pours it on the feet of Jesus and then wipes his feet with her hair. And everybody knows because the scent of the perfume fills the whole house. This was a wonderful, seemingly spontaneous gesture of love and affection, of gratitude and honour, of lavish devotion and generosity. Although it was obvious to everyone, it was not appreciated by all. Judas Iscariot, the one who was to betray Jesus and who then took his own life, the one who was recognised later to be a thief, for although he held the purse in his hand, he's also put his hand in the purse for himself. And it's Judas who sounds the clang of the discordant note and with a critical spirit says, it could have been sold and the money could have been given to the poor. And he says that from a dishonest heart. And yet Jesus redeems the situation. Gently, firmly, warmly speaks up for Mary. But also speaks of his upcoming death. The death by which he will redeem us all. Not only does he redeem the situation for Mary. But a few days later on the cross, he will redeem all humanity. The responses of Mary, Martha and Judas stand in sharp contrast and beg the question what are the, what are the responses of our own hearts? Do we respond in lavish love of God? Responding to the wonderful amazing grace that he shows to us? Or do we respond with ill-mannered false-hearted, questioning. 
may we respond with lavish devotion to the God who in Christ redeems us. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for the wonder of your love shown to us in Jesus. We thank you for the example of those who returned love to you, who expressed heartfelt devotion and shown that also not only in worship but also in service of others. Fill us afresh with a wonder at your love and with gratitude of heart. For we ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you.